Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Alrighty, uh, today I wanted to get into a different type of video. It's going to be about Trevor Bauer, and it's going to be about how cancel culture is coming after him, in my opinion. How the mob is coming after him. And I'll explain why. Now, that being said, I still believe that Trevor Bauer is a weird dude. Now, Trevor Bauer, he was accused of sexually assaulting this one lady. And I don't want to jump the gun. I don't want to go with the media narrative. I want to wait until all the evidence has come out. It goes to the court of law, and then I'll talk about it. But once again, I believe in the mantra, innocent until innocent until proven guilty. The media believes in guilty until proven innocent. Now, you have to remember that Trevor Bauer, like I said, is a strange person. He does things that probably piss off a lot of his teammates. I'm pretty sure his teammates on the Indians when he was with Cleveland, they didn't like him. For instance, Game 7 of the World Series, Trevor Bauer couldn't pitch. You know why? Because he hurt one of his fingers during a drone incident. He could have helped Cleveland win Game 7 of the World Series, but instead, my Cubbies won, thanks to him. That's pretty awesome, by the way. I still can't believe the Cubs pulled it off, but one of the reasons was Trevor Bauer. Thank you, Trevor Bauer. Secondly, what was really strange was, I think in 2019, Terry Francona, the manager of the Indians, wanted to take Trevor Bauer out of the game. And Trevor Bauer didn't want to come out of the game. And you, Trevor Bauer was pissed. And even if you're pissed and you're a pitcher, you usually give the ball to the manager and the manager hands the ball to the reliever. Instead, what Trevor Bauer did was he took the ball, he threw it all the way into the stands, like the home run area, the bleachers area. I'm not sure how Cleveland's stadium is like, but he threw it all the way down there. I've never seen that in my life. So Trevor Bauer has definitely, or definitely has anger issues. Three, Trevor Bauer goes after the commissioner saying that, hey, Rob Manfred doesn't do a good job marketing. We have the best player, Mike Trout. No one knows too much about him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think Trevor Bauer's right. Trevor Bauer is very outspoken, so he rubs people the wrong way. And he basically, in my opinion, has a target over his back. Now, he's on the Dodgers, and the Dodgers stated that they don't want anything to do with Trevor Bauer. That's interesting because Trevor Bauer did okay this year. Granted, there is one thing. I'm going to look at some statistics right now. It's the spin rate. So Trevor Bauer was allegedly allegedly using spider tack. I think he was uh, because let's just look at his foreign seam fastball. I'm at MLB Savant. I don't want to screw up the numbers, so I'm looking at it. His year average RPM Revolutions per minute, four seam fastball, it averaged 2,783 RPMs. The last game against the Giants in late June, over a month ago, his four seam fastball average was 2,514. You saw this also with Garrett Cole earlier this year. His spin rate dramatically went lower. So, do the Dodger players don't want to deal with Bauer because they have, number one, a guy who's probably difficult to get along with, in my opinion. Two, he allegedly cheated by using spider tack. And three, they don't want any distraction in the clubhouse because the Dodgers have a really good team and they don't want any outside influence. They don't want the media, in my opinion, or it could be they don't want the media asking about Trevor Bauer constantly, constantly, constantly. They want to just win. So maybe that's another reason why they don't want him around. Maybe it will bring too much negativity to the team. And maybe they just want to talk baseball with the reporters. But I just find it interesting, and none of the players are defending him. So it looks like 
cancel culture is coming for Trevor Bauer. I mean, the conspiracy end is he may have been set up with this uh, lady. I'm seeing some of the comments elsewhere. They're saying that uh, this could have been consensual and that lady was crazy. That's what some people are saying. I'm not saying that. And we have to realize Trevor Bauer has made many enemies. And when you become an enemy, people will try to get you some way, shape, or form. It doesn't matter if it's politics or sports, etc. If you're not well-liked by the establishment of any organization, they're going to do everything possible to kick you out. They're going to try to set you up. They're going to do all sorts of crazy things and throw in any conspiracy out there. And what I believe is if someone messes up, the first thing they should do is they should get therapy. They should fix their problems. If they've shown they are a different person, then they should be given a second chance, in my opinion. One instance that I remember growing up with was Michael Vick. Michael Vick was betting on dogs fighting. It was ridiculously insane what he did. But what Michael Vick did was he served jail time. He had to pay the penalty. He came back out. He signed a contract with the Philadelphia Eagles. And he became a pretty solid QB. And on top of it, Michael Vick ended up paying back to creditors for his bankruptcy protection. He didn't have to pay these guys. Because the judge says, okay, you got to just pay maybe a tenth on the dollar of your debt. Which he did. But he decided to pay more back to his creditors because he felt that was the right thing to do. See, when you give people a second chance like that, like you did to Michael Vick, he may do some good based on giving him another opportunity. And I think this is what's missing from our society these days uh, with cancel culture. If someone messes up once, they're done. They're finished. A lot of people won't give them a chance. And I believe that if they mess up, they do the right things to get themselves back in shape. back Not back in shape, but back on track. They deserve a second chance. Uh, someone like Ray Rice was not given a second chance. Because Ray Rice was no Antonio Brown. The only reason why Antonio Brown was playing last year, in my opinion was because Tom Brady convinced Bruce Arians, and Bruce Arians was like, fine, I don't want him there, but if you could babysit him and get him out of trouble, then fine. And the Bucks won the Super Bowl. So, unless you are an Antonio Brown, cancel culture is going to come for the average guy. And I'm going to do some more videos on cancel culture and how it's disastrous for sports. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think about Trevor Bauer. You, you guys think that he, deser he deserves a second chance. You guys think that he's being set up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below, guys. Thanks. Bye.